Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Paul Tamayo, and I'm here with Ethan Gatch. And today we're checking out the new, the latest addition to the Overwatch roster, Baptiste, um, who is basically a new, uh, a new healer character that they've introduced, which is, uh, which is interesting considering how much like the meta has been changing recently. Because I've been super out of the loop. Uh, I haven't played in a minute. Have you? It was the last time you played Overwatch? Uh, mm. I can't remember when the last time I played was, honestly. Besides last night. It was probably last March. Okay. So almost a year. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm, I'm going to show off uh, Baptiste now, just sort of his his abilities and what he can do. Uh, but yeah, it's interesting because, like, like I mentioned at the top, uh, I'm I'm curious to see how he impacts the overall meta because it seems like one of his abilities is really You're interesting. I don't know if I love it just because it like it's it's going to really like turn certain battles into really long. Um, long bouts so i'm not sure i love that but anyway so here's his main gun he's kind of have this, like this burst fire uh this rifle that he can reload which is pretty cool it's got a decent amount of range especially if you're you know pretty accurate with it um his secondary fire his right right mouse click here is uh this little orb that he shoots out that has like a sort of splash splash effect that heals people i can show you over here actually I accidentally hit oh, that. Nice. So it's like a healing grenade launcher. Yeah, yeah. So you'll see like Got with these dudes. Me. It also it kind of actively continues. Like it, it keeps going. Actually, no, it's not that one. It's this one. It's my um, my my uh, left shift ability here. Anybody anybody within my range, they just constantly get healed. Like you know, pretty pretty steadily there, right. which is interesting. And then uh, here's the here's the funky one. If I hit E here, this basically um keeps them alive they can't get below this little part of their health here until it obviously goes away or like the enemy the opposing team concentrates their fire on that one thing it doesn't take a lot to, to take it out like I'll, I'll, I'll jump into a few matches just to show it off a little bit more but um yeah it's interesting i'm not sure i love that to be honest like i'll, I'll show it off one more time and you'll see here that the friendly bots you'll see it in the ui too like the health like they can't you can't get them past that part unless you like you know, like i said you fire on that thing so let me try to get my um my ult here also chat feel free to drop in any questions and or comments i'm curious if anyone else has been playing with uh baptiste yet this is also on the ptr um so the uh his ult is interesting too so if you go over let's go over to our friendly bot here you'll see that like kind of like symmetra this like little invisible wall pops up and you can build it right in front of presumably where your team's gonna be and that will sort of strengthen i kind of popped that too soon so it's gonna take a while for that <laughs> bot to come back but the uh you'll see that it's, yeah it, it basically doubles the damage that's output through that wall so any of your teammates who are shooting through there are gonna just like really do deal some heavy damage right. and then also any uh healing uh, projectiles that are coming through that wall will also be amplified as well. So um, that's oh yeah, and one important one I forgot was I think it's his left control. Yeah, you see how I build up that little meter there. If I can jump, he has this little Farah like jump up into the air, which is interesting. Uh, you can sort of use that at will, um, and I think the idea there is to sort of build it up, jump, and then like help out teammates who are kind of getting damage, uh, just help them heal. So it gives you a nice little like bird's eye view of the of the map, so you can, you know, help out your teammates in need. But pretty interesting. Um, I'm, I haven't spent a ton of time with him. I played like an hour or two last night, just to, you know, try to get my feet wet a little bit. But uh, we can jump into a couple matches now just to show you uh, yeah. Baptiste in action. So, uh, how many healers is that in the game now? Oh, that's a, that's a great. So we're gonna do no limit just to just to verify that we can get him because right now it's like he's super super hot right but um i'm not entirely sure what the exact count is maybe chat knows so uh someone in chat saying they really like baptiste and love how he's a core support i am curious to see like how he he doubles up with certain characters like i know i can already envision uh, a sort of setup with baptiste and reinhardt for example right. that'll be pretty nasty especially once you get the uh once you pop the little resurrection what is it called exactly the immortality field. Once you pop that and you have a Reinhardt out front, out in front, sort of blocking any incoming fire to keep that thing alive, and you also are obviously shooting through his shield, that could be pretty nasty. Same thing with his ult too. I feel like really cool uh, combinations can happen. I'm just curious to see like how it's going to change certain fights. Like I think, it's, like I said before, it's going to extend the there? time in which. Right, and because presumably there's going to be one on both sides, so you could just have. Two unkillable people constantly going at each other. Oof. It's interesting because uh, 
you know, Dota 2, uh, which is often my multiplayer video game of choice, it has a, a hero called Dazzle, and one of Dazzle's abilities is the same. Uh, it's called Shallow Grave, and it, uh, for the duration, I forget how many seconds it lasts, but the, the teammate you cast it on can't be killed. Oh, cool. Uh, and so, yeah, it creates a, a sort of interesting reward, uh, risk-reward situation, because uh, at the same time, if you, if you don't deploy it well, you're just basically wasting your life. Yeah, totally. There's going to be some interesting placement, too. Like, I'm going to really have fun um, placing the immortality shield, or whatever it's called. Placing that, like, in places where it's hard for them to, to reach it, which is going to be cool. So, like, if I know they can't hit it from here, I can at least give us a little bit more leeway around this corner uh, or like certain columns or whatever is going to be really cool to utilize it on. But yeah, I'm curious to see uh, how it turns out in the long run. Because I, so Overwatch has been a game that I used to be obsessed with at one point, one point in time in my life. And uh, I just kind of fell off of I just kind of fell off of it over time. So we'll just jump into the round as that tease now. It is cool though. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's, it's like the conversation again comes up at least in, in my circles of like oh man it would have been cool if uh, you know maybe they introduced a, a black female hero but right um, Baptiste still does have a really interesting story um, he is Haitian which is pretty cool but yeah I wish I kind of wish I was interesting like, yeah so yeah. so Reggie uh, retires yeah right coincidence no dying on my <laughs> have you seen Baptiste and Reggie in the same room I don't know this is what this is Reggie's idea of retirement. Uh, I think one of the cool things is, um, so you know, uh, when I did play a lot, uh, I was playing mostly uh, supports and healers mm -hmm. um, because you know my my aim and twitch uh, skills are really bad. So uh, was not very good at shooting, but could you know uh, heal other people and stuff. But I think the thing the thing that seems really cool about him is that the the range you get. Uh, with the grenade deals and yeah. the sort of being able to incorporate like shooting mechanics into that as opposed to you know being uh, just following behind someone and just having a healing aura or a healing beam that doesn't actually require much uh, uh, there's no real input from you mm -hmm. um, so it can get kind of boring yeah for sure for sure it, it definitely makes him more of like an active participant in certain battles especially because his like the range of his gun is actually pretty decent too so I can pop this here for example and know that I got my score. Oh, we have multiple ones, so again, take out their thing first. You know, we should be good. Again, pop my left sh shift here, also heal us up. And the good thing is, it doesn't seem like it takes a while for it. Hard to overwatch and talk at the same time. But yeah, you see here already, like I was talking about before, like these, these battles are already becoming like yeah, a little more interesting. Yeah, totally. Oh, get the thing, get the thing. So, uh, people in the chat said, uh, does he feel more like a healer or more like a DPS character? And I'm, I'm guessing he seems like. You know, the, the gun's decent, but I'm guessing you're not doing a lot of No, you're not. He, he definitely feels more like a healer, to be honest. Like, he feels like a, you know, definitely not going to be doing any... At least, I mean, I, 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 can, I can't wait to be proven wrong, but I'm not planning on using this guy to say that you use, like, someone else more offensively. Right, and there's, I mean, there's no offensive ability other than his gun. It's not like there's anything that... Can that could augment that to go on. Right, right. Yeah, and then you'll see if I like if I pop. It would be cool if we got a Reinhardt. See, so because um, it'd be interesting if he had, uh, in the same way he has the one ability that keeps people alive. It'd be interesting if he could deploy another mine that actually made it easier for people to die, like you know, made them more vulnerable, but also greatly increased the damage. Right, and you could sort of go back and forth. It is kind of fun. I I, I do find myself like playing. Oh yeah, you see, I forgot I have that. I have that as well. Jump, yeah, you've been, you've been going back and forth between the bus. I've been, I've been on the ground like a scrub. I got you, dog. Oh no. Oh yeah, there we go. I thought we had the immortality shield up there, but yeah. Ghost says it's weird to watch Overwatch after so much Apex because Overwatch is still so much more legible with its sound cues and visual design. 
That could have gone That's true. I also wonder how much of that is just like you've been playing this game for like, you know, three years or whatever, and you just gotten really used to it. I mean, I, I definitely think it's a thing. I, I, I think the battle royale genre on, on the whole, there's this sort of uh, pride in having to really listen for people and really mind your surroundings and like keep a lookout. Because uh, I know the first time, like for instance, I started playing Blackout, the Call of Duty uh, battle royale. My cousin was like, yeah, you just got to listen for footsteps and all this oh, other yeah, stuff. And like, you know, I got some friends with crazy audio uh, setups, setups. And yeah. I'm like, that's just a lot. To it's be a lot doing. of work. <laughs> for, especially for every battle. It would be the one thing if that was like the PUBG thing or the Blackout thing. But like, I, I agree that Apex also leans into that uh, in such a way that, now, I mean, fortunately, the thing about Apex, I think that it, yeah, I think it takes good lessons from Overwatch in giving players different abilities with the class system that can kind of give you a leg up in the situation. So if you don't have the best situa uh, situational awareness, you'll have certain abilities that you can you know, use to track other players or make, them, make their, their locations more obvious. And you're not just dependent on their sort of, uh, uh, and, uh, perception. Yeah, totally. I'm waiting for the right time to use this. Yeah, we pop this too. Boys out. Let's do this here. Hey, look, guys. I got a shield too. Nope, nope. That's another thing too that I find this gonna be interesting. Like Baptiste sort of is a real nice uh, counter to, like, let's say uh, I'm crash right now. Sorry. Need more pop or something. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a really nice counter to like. Um, the uh, red by Wawa. <laughs> shout, shout out to all my Wawa. Philly, yeah, shout out to all my Philly peeps out there. Um, yeah, you, you're, like, you're gonna see like really nice counters to like rip, Riptide or what's it called, Riptire, where like instead of knowing that like death is imminent, right. if you pop that at the right time, you're like, so what? Just like shoot it out comfortably without knowing that you're not gonna die. Yeah, it would be a great way to absorb holes. <laughs> Also gonna like you have to like really learn how to oh, get, in, get in there. Oh, get the thing. Yeah, nice. Well done. I can also see him like pairing really nicely with Orisa, for example, because mm -hmm. um, she she's also one of those characters that can really hold it down and pick up the front lines. But yeah, this is interesting. Cause I, haven't, I haven't played Overwatch in a minute, so it is. Uh, Oh no! So do, do they have a timeline for when uh, he'll actually be in the, the game proper? Or? They just said coming soon. I, I mean, I watched the uh, the little developer update video with our boy Jeff. Uh, he just said uh, coming soon. So they're, you know, it's definitely going to be coming to console and the, and the main game. But like someone in the chat also mentioned, I'm really, I really, really can't wait for him for them to like open up uh, just like regular play, so I can see him pair up with you know other characters. It's going to be. Uh, Interesting to watch, especially as like a passive observer. No, you fools! Oh, I popped that way too, <laughs> way too far away. That's another thing I gotta get used to is like learning the range of his abilities. Right. No, yo. Yeah, uh, one thing I'm really curious about is is how it's gonna. Or, or so, is he gonna be allowed in Owl this season, or are they gonna hold oh. off until the next one? That's interesting. I'm curious. Because it's interesting. Like I mean, uh, you know, theoretically, you've had teams preparing during the off season. And now you've got someone who could potentially uh, completely change up certain team strategies or be easily, more easily incorporated into some versus others. Yeah, I would say he definitely should not be included <laughs> just because, like, yeah, it's going to throw off the balance for a lot of folks. At the same time, it seems like uh, his abilities are geared towards flashier highlights. Um, like the... Uh, the ability to keep teammates alive, you know, yeah, just while trying there. to hold down a point or do other stuff, I feel like will we'll go a long way towards uh, creating more tense moments. Yeah, like just there, that uh, immortality shield or whatever it's called, it's totally saved my ass because like that uh, soldier seventy six was uh, had his alt and was. <laughs> you would you would think I I'm curious to know if like it automatically just attacks if he popped his thing right? right. Does that just go for? us or does it also target those things too because that's like a really big disadvantage if he's just solely sh shooting at players and not the 
not the thing you're trying to shoot at. I guess you gotta really rely on your teammates to know what the hell they're doing. Just my luck. Let's try that again. Yeah, what's what's it what's chat think about Baptiste? What what is what's chat think about Overwatch? Dead game? True. Dead? Yeah, get in there. It is cool that you get the little notification that they they have their immortality shield popped up, so you know, like deep down, like you have to you have to concentrate on something else. Like shooting at them is gonna be cool, but it's not gonna get you the result you want. One in one in uh, the chat says that uh, they buffed 76 in this PTR patch, uh, and so his ult will target things like junk grabs, uh, grip fire, and Batiste's uh, immortality filtering. Okay, cool. It is like riding a bike though, man. I haven't played this game in a oh, look at him just leaning on the... That's cool, man. <laughs> Real casual. I appreciate your steez there. Yeah, I'm curious. It's uh, it's interesting because I feel like... When was the last character uh, added to the game? Um, it was... What's her name? Uh, God, I'm blanking on her name. Chat, help me out here. This is the robot, right? No, this is the... Uh, she has a robot arm, I think. She's like the three counter like ash thank you Phil filio filio oh yeah, right ash. sorry hard to concentrate and play a game and talk at the same time who'd have, who'd have thought oh no also I have not been using my like healing stuff very well so let's pop this here oh very nice counter from may there And also, oh no, oops, I botched that. Let me get the mortality field. Yeah, playing with multiple Baptistes is kind of a nightmare, to be honest. Because there's a bunch of, if once you pop a bunch of those immortality fields, it's like, all right, what's the point? What am I doing here? No. No. Pop that, pop that, nice. Yeah, you can really extend the, uh, fights here. I'm also not using my like mouse from home, so I can't I have to reach over to melee. That's my favorite thing to do. Oh, how was that how was that happening? Thought I was in their shield. Guess not. Wawa does it again. <laughs> what is this? Is he sponsored man? What is it? what is this? This should be they should uh brand should just pay people to play games. And then just be like, <laughs> got killed by KFC. Oh, you're dead again. Should have oh. had some Wawa. <laughs> Five, where is that? Five Baptiste. Wawa, at it again, bro. <laughs> Killing it. Yeah, I was the first to go. Everybody falls before Wawa eventually. <laughs> yeah, it'll be. It's, uh, it's weird because uh, it's funny. Every game reaches i feel like a uh, point in its life si cycle where even though it's still super popular yeah there's sort of not this same level of excitement at every new update or addition right right, right. Um, like pokemon go still very big uh but there's not a huge there's not a bunch of hype every time there's like a new thing added mm -hmm. um and it definitely feels like overwatch is at that point where it's it's kind of interest is peaked mm -hmm. um so if you're not like on the overwatch boat by this point you, you might never be yeah it's interesting because like before overwatch came out i was always envious of people who played like starcraft or you know dota whatever like who right. played it for like a long stretch of time and i can i, I always like thought it was interesting when those players also start to fall out of the loop and they'd be like yeah i play it from time to time and that's exactly where i am now with overwatch um but i still love overwatch i still i still have a lot of fun with it but um Again, I'm just more so curious how he's gonna match, how he's gonna feel with like other, other characters. Because right now we've got, we have already got four Baptiste and two on the other team that we know of. Well, this is just a skirmish, but still, you can tell everyone's still like trying to wants to practice with him. So it's not really like good indication of how he's actually gonna right. play. But yeah, I've I've been playing a ton of uh, Apex. And it is kind of nice seeing that influence there, at least. No, no. My aim is off today. 
And it's also interesting, I guess, seeing how the game changes as more and more characters get added. Um, I don't, you know, who knows if at some point Blizzard decide to take characters out of rotation for some reason. Mm -hmm. um, but it is, uh, someone was just mentioning in the chat about how it's uh, getting, it can get a little more overwhelming now when you're looking at the selection screen. Uh, yeah, more like it's overwhelmed. It's funny thinking about games like Dota and, and League that have so many characters to choose from. More like overwhelmed, am I right? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just have this low hanging fruit. Um, yeah, that's interesting if they, like, y you know, if they would ever consider removing someone or maybe, I mean, they're, they're definitely going to rework people. I, I it, it would be, like, such an interesting experience to see, like, all right, we're taking Baptiste out, never mind, we're going to, you know, rework him for a bit. Uh, but I think this is kind of a large part of what they're um, banking on is like people just figuring out what works, what doesn't work. Literally just play testing the heck out of it. So does he feel a bit, uh, does he feel overpowered to you? Does he feel in line with everyone? My, my sense is that, you know, usually when you're adding a new character, you know, it's better to border on making them too powerful and more exciting to use. You know, because the worst thing is that you roll somebody out and then nobody wants to play them. Yeah, I, I'm... I do feel a little overpowered at times, especially with all of the healing things that I can do. But there are times, too, where I feel like I'm just completely screwed and I don't have a way out. So I kind of, you know, that classic Overwatch thing of, like, I need a teammate there to bail me out. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I think the gun, his gun could use a little bit of, like, a, a nerf, I think, so far from what I've played. Again, I've only played, this is going to be a total of three hours here, but... Um, it does feel like I'm kind of taking people out pretty easily, but I think that's kind of the point since he's a little bit of a... He is kind of squishy in that way. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to uh, I need to really get used to this thing. I'm not used to having to hold uh, to hold a thing and then... It's just like you're up loading like up that. a spring. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And I forget that you can like... Hold, so you can hold it down. Hold it down. And then you can let go of it and run and then use it. There's a small window there where you can actually use that. So I can see how that would be useful, especially if I'm like up top somewhere. Right. Let's try it out now. Just to get, again, like that bird's eye view to, to heal people from... Uh, and I'm going to betray my like complete lack of knowledge of the game. Uh, the character with the, uh, the grenade launcher that can, that can fly mm -hmm. is... Wait, with the grenade launcher that can fly... Maybe it's like a bazooka or something. Some kind of launcher. Uh, oh, Farah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. So it, it, it feels sort of similar to that, where like you've got a bunch of verticality, and then you can be like aiming down all of these support abilities at you know the people who need them. Totally. Yeah, I do like his left shift. The kind of like anybody near me gets healed up. Ooh, that was a nice one. Though. I do like that a lot. Look at this like wall of Baptiste. This is un this is unbelievable. Uh, I do like that ability. Let me try doing that now. Actually, heal up my squad here. Yeah, it's like the reverse Farah. Like you're just dealing health instead of shooting rockets out like that. That is a good observation. He does, his clip does have a lot of uh, ammo in it, I think, to compensate. Yeah, it does. 45. 45. What, and so what's his backstory? Uh, he is... Uh, hold on one second. He was um he's from Haiti and I think like during I think during the Omnic War or something like that he uh, he survived and then was able to become like a tough time uh, yeah he was <laughs> tough time indeed moment of silence for Dom of course <laughs> um, he joined this like elite unit and became like a really really good medic and then sort of by chance started working for the bad dudes and then became sort of aware of that and then kind of betrayed them and now he's like a good guy so I do kind of like that story there's a nice little bit of layer layered depth there you know what I mean it's not just like my mom was a soldier and I'm a soldier no, no shape to like some of the other characters but still do we know that do we know why the double cross um I think yeah, he just like was because he you know he kind of came yeah he came from that like those humble beginnings and he just sort of saw how tired of working for the man yeah word Rise up, gamers. Become an elite medic. <laughs> Just pop this right here. So that is going to be kind of fun, too, like, being able to place that in the right area and just slowly get some good shots from teammates. Like, you see how even we're angling it? Like, that's, yeah. that's pretty cool. Nah, bro. Get him. Uh-oh. 
No, Bastion, no. Bad Bastion. Ooh. Bunch of teeth. Nobody died. Uh -oh. Let me pop that real quick. Sorry, Genji. <laughs> That's gotta be frustrating too, like if you're Genji, you're like, damn it! Now I gotta look at this dumb thing. Oh man, I tried to pop my healing. Yeah, I wonder who, who like, you know, if they'll be... Who the dedicated heroes will be for taking out those, uh... What are we calling them? The immortality shield the Immortality things? shields, yeah. yeah. Or field. Field. I've been playing a lot of, uh, Apex. I'm just automatically thinking of Gibraltar. No! Oh, I guess tucked that, that in there. Really 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 I'm that player who sees like that many levels oh. of uh, like obstacle, and I'm just like, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, I should have done that, but I thought I was gonna like be able to hold him off from here. Just stop him. Where's the thing? Oh, there it is. Yeah, at some point too, you have to like also recognize like when is a good time to pop the immortality field um, because yeah just like just like learning a whole new set of skill like uh, how long does it last about here. like four uh, seconds does it say I'm not sure let's time it next time yeah chat time it for your boy everybody pull out your <laughs> pull out your phones and start get your clock app out It was like eight, nine seconds. I was counting in my head. No, I got one too. Oh god, there's too many. Oh, yeah. For, uh, who who thought four Baptiste popping uh, immortality fields? It's gonna be great for the exhibition exhibition matches. <laughs> just six v six. Do they do those at all? Just like crazy. Uh, they should, right? I would watch that. I don't know if they did a uh, slaps only for the what do you call that? The All Star Games. Oh god. Wait, well, you take down one and like three more pop up. Yeah, so right now it's like not that great to play as Baptiste because you're not really getting a real sense for Right. Do you so do you see yourself coming, you know, once uh he's officially out in the game, do you see yourself taking a break from Apex and whatever ever else you're playing to sort of get back into it? Probably not. Ooh. Um it d like again, like I said before at the top of the stream, this game is just completely falling out of rotation for me. So I don't think that uh Baptiste is compelling enough for me to want to stick with it again. Like, as much as I used to, at least, you know? I used to be super heavy into this dang game. Yeah, I might, be, I might even, like, play as a character I know, just so I could see how well I can pair up with Baptiste. Yeah, see, see what you can do now. Yeah, because, you know, now that I know his strengths, probably pair with them pretty easily instead of being part of a five-man Baptiste squad. Yeah, better back off. Okay, let's get back up. Okay, you got it, bro. Yeah, I'm curious if, like, other people who've fallen out of uh, rotation with Overwatch, if they're, if they're curious about picking it back up, too, with Baptiste now back into the, well, now into the equation. Cause for me, it's like, I don't know, he's cool. He's definitely an interesting character that I'm going to be watching, at least from afar, but um, I'm not sure it's going to be enough for me to want to stick with it. Yeah, usually, for instance, not to go back to Dota, but uh, <laughs> we're going to go back. Dota, uh, it's definitely one of those games where I'll play it hard for like maybe a couple weeks, month out of the year, mm -hmm. and then I just don't touch it uh, the rest of the time. Yeah. 
So like you know, I'll read up on patch notes and see what's going on. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm gonna in do. the pro scene. But like, it's definitely one of those things where I at this point I can like, I'll get into a mood for it, um, but it's not something I'm looking to do every week or every night. Yeah, that's exactly what I'll probably be doing. Just like following up, reading up on patch notes. And I guess it's like that's a I feel like a very standard way for a lot of people to approach games. But it's it's a harder now when you've got so many games that are dependent on like people constantly coming back because it's right. not like oh here's the new dlc character so you'll, you'll pay for the dlc character uh yeah that's true it's like no we need you playing a lot and you know buying skins and doing all that yeah because actually i mean people complain about all the con lack of content in destiny but actually one of the things i like about it is that it's like you know a couple times a year I'll get whatever the expansion is, play it a lot for a week or two, you know, maybe even a month, and then I'm just done. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I want to get into, like, a forever game like that, like a, you know, loot-based shooter like that, but I, uh, I don't know, man. I, I just don't, don't think they're for me. Like, you just reviewed Anthem, which, by the way, which was a super dope review. Thank you. But, um... I don't know if I could do it, man. I don't know if I could, like, I even... <laughs> I don't recommend it. <laughs> yeah. I was going back and rereading uh, one Kirk Hamilton's review from uh, the for the first Destiny, and was I'd forgotten how angry people were at that game. Not, like, just oh, yeah. the lack of content or other stuff, but just, like, reading his review, just the idea of how much the game... Uh, doesn't care about your time which totally. is like it can you know it can be kind of a it's a cliche thing to say at this point like oh game video games, games gotta respect my time waste your time but uh it's definitely not i don't we've started got we've sort of gotten used to that grind but mm -hmm. i don't it's not a way i like to play games which uh, one of the things again <laughs> one of the things i love about dota <laughs> is for 40 minutes you can go through you can run the entire arc of starting out at level one leveling up your character getting new equipment you know getting new abilities getting more powerful and you kind of you can go through that entire cycle in just an hour, as opposed to, uh, you know, like eighty hours. Yeah, um, totally. And I don't think that the fact that you have to put eighty hours into it makes it necessarily a better experience. In a lot of ways, I've I've never not come off of a loot shooter and not felt like I had just come out of a coma. Totally. Yeah. 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 And like the the you know we could talk about Anthem all day, but. Kind of a shame because I, I was really like, like, is this the one? Can this can this do it? And not really. No. Not really. Hey, we, at least we got a win. There you go. See, Baptiste is uh, he's all right. <laughs> I'm I'm super curious. I, I might, like I said before, you know, read up on it and keep I up mean, on it. Not. Yeah, he looks period. really cool. He does look super dope. I'm curious to see like what. Actually, I wonder if they're in. If they're in yet. I'm gonna see what other kind of skins he has. Maybe we'll do that to sort of wind down yeah. the stream. No, I mean, I, I'll say as someone who was never very good at Overwatch, uh, it's cool, you know, it, it's always exciting to be able to play a character, you, you know, you can make an impact uh, by not having to shoot someone in the face. Word. But still using, like, you know, I still want to play a shooter. I want to I want to aim at stuff and then use guns. That's what I like. I mean, it's funny we talk a lot about other Because, like, I played the Law of Mercy back in the oh, day, and it's just, like, I just, it wasn't fun. Yeah. I'm curious to see th the rest of his skins and stuff because uh, he is a cool looking character. That's that's for damn sure. Um, but yeah, like bringing it back to another game that I love at the moment, Apex is like it's cool being able to like not necessarily be the one that needs to be, you know, the nice the nicest one in the team who gets the most kills. I can still be like effective by pinging things and ooh, that's nice. This is like a sick Nerf gun. Yeah, I think I have that Nerf gun somewhere in my in my apartment, but um. But yeah, that was just a brief, quick look at Baptiste, uh, the newest character in Overwatch. I'm curious to know what everyone else thinks. Please let me know um, in the comments or whatever. This is all gonna be also going to be archived on the YouTube, so if, you watch, if you're watching this on the YouTube, shout out to you. But um, yeah, this was Paul and... And Ethan. And thanks for joining us, and we'll see you around. Peace.